so that's going to be a bit difficult for me, but never mind. So if you want, if you want to come to that, look on Facebook. Now Shah's been working on this for. Do you want me to count now? About seven years now. Thanks, Nick. Obviously, the intelligent one. And I think that's where it's something else that I, that, that I was thinking about when I was coming through here, which is really important and it really, really, really annoys me. And going by what it's taken Shah about seven years. We did a monument in Glasgow in the Belle of Bray. That took us seven years. Now, we get accused of being anti-English all the time with regards to what we do. Now, Ted's obviously rightly today, and I've got no issues with what Ted said today, the English guys that died on this day, we do remember them as well, as we do at Bannock Dunn as well. But it seems to be a press thing to try and put down what we talk about. We are pro-Scottish. Now, to me, pro-Scottish isn't it anti-English. That's just pro-Scottish. It wasn't the F-Bolt when it was the same team Vegas. It wasn't us. We didn't say tell the Longshanks to come up here and start doing what he was doing. If he was Spanish, does that make us anti-Spanish? Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's a pro-Scottish thing. And it does annoy me, and it does wind me up when we get accused of being anti-English. Anything that the Society of William Wallace has ever been involved in, with the English have been involved with head of uh, historical England, historic England, sorry. The guys couldn't be nicer. The guys are actually bending over backwards for us. Whereas in Scotland, you're going through hoops. The Guardian Trust, we walk, what they're trying to do here. The Bell of Break took seven years. And all they wanted was for us to go away. Just, oh, can't be bothered doing this. Seven years of my life, I can't even really be bothered. No, 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 we ain't going away, pal, until this is built. But that's the way they want, and it's not an anti-English, it's not the English that we've got a problem with. It's the people in Scotland who are unionists, who don't agree with the history of Scotland. And it's about time these people looked and the fact of the fact that they are Scottish. Yeah, you want to be British, right? I've got no issues with that. Even in an in independent Scotland, we're on an island, it's called Britain. So that ain't going to change. You know, so we've got to look towards the future, the future of not just me, I'm, as I said, 21-ish. It's not for me, I won't be here in 20 years' time. It's for my kids, it's for my kids' kids. I want my kids and my kids' kids to have a better future and to be able to be proud and have an understanding that we make the decisions of our own country. I don't want to be able to be in a, a country where somebody else is making a decision for us, whether it's right or wrong for them, but may, may not be an advantage towards us. That's what I want. Thank you very much for listening. I'm sorry for going on, I usually do. Abba Gabra, thank you very much.